Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a highly requested video for you guys and it's on this dark olive smoky eye look that was requested on my Instagram and as well as my vlog channel. But I did this makeup look because it was inspired by my friend here on YouTube, Layla. But she did one that was a little bit more light and this one, I did it a lot more smokier. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna start out as always with a primer. This is the one I'm gonna start out with, the worth of one from Benefit. It's called Stato Straight. And this one is supposed to make the eyeshadows a lot more pigmented than what they are so I definitely recommend this primer this is actually the first primer I ever tried and ever since then I've been in love with it but I'm gonna be blending this out with the Sigma E60 all over my entire lid all the way up to my brow bone Next after that, we're going to go ahead and take our transition color. So this time, instead of uh, starting out with Creme Brulee, I'm going to take Latte from Makeup Geek. This is a little bit much more darker, and it'll help with the blending process as well, and also to make things a little more smoky. So I'm blending this on my crease with the Sigma E40, and if you guys actually notice, I'm not being too careful with it. Uh, some of it is actually going on my lid. But that's okay because since we are going to be adding a darker color instead of a lighter one, um, it's just going to make it super easier for us to blend and so you don't have to be super careful about this This is the fun part, but now taking Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. This was one of my absolute favorite eyeshadows from them I'm gonna go ahead and take this with a Sigma E25 and start blending this into my crease all the way to my inner corner notice how I always uh, Apply this on the outer part, but since it's a smoky eye we have to bring it all the way to the inner corner of our eyes. So again, if you are not super careful with it, it's okay if you get it on your lid. But then after that, once you're done placing that color, you want to go back with your Sigma E40 and make sure that everything is well blended out and that way there's no harsh lines or separation of these two colors even though they can look almost similar. But now taking the star of the show, which is Enchanted Forest. They actually have this in a dual chrome shadow, but now they made it into a matte shade, which is perfect. But I'm going to be packing this on to my lid with the Sigma E55. And notice how I'm not really going like all crazy with it. I'm actually trying to make it as pigmented as I can. So I'm really packing this on rather than swiping the brush. So doing little tapping motions is definitely going to help as well with the fallout. So. Just make sure you get it all over your entire lid and then stop a little bit before you're going to get into your crease. That way, once we start blending, it'll make it easier for us. But once you're done placing that eyeshadow on all over your entire lid, now we're going to go back with Coco Bear and our Sigma E25 and we're going to start blending the colors together. And notice how I'm very lightly blending this into my crease. I'm not going super harsh with the brush into my crease. I'm just very lightly placing the color. That way we don't lose any of the pigment. Back then I used to go really harsh in there and I would have to always keep reapplying the lid color. But if you actually do this, it'll help a lot. Now to give a little bit of highlight to our brow bone and inner corner of eye, I'm going to take Makeup Geek Mirage with the Sigma E32, which is an exact blending brush. So as you place, you can start blending it and it will make everything easier. But you guys know me, I have to double make sure and have to blend everything out back again with the E40. So just place this on the inner corner of your eye and try to blend it as much as you can. And if not, you can take your E40 like I said. But after that, we're going to move on to our bottom lash line. So I'm first going to place my black eyeshadow, or not black eyeshadow, my black eyeliner. And this is the one from Marc Jacobs. I highly recommend it because it's super pigmented, it's waterproof, and it won't smudge. It'll definitely stay on all day. But I'm going to be applying this on my waterline and tight line. Then after that, I'm going to take Enchanted Forest and start blending out my lower lash line with this with the Sigma E30. And I'm really going to pack on the eyeshadow on my lower lash line. That way it looks super smoky and sexy. But at the same time, right after I'm done placing that shadow, now I'm going to take Cocoa Bear and just have that color peeking through at the bottom. And that way it looks like it was blended and it balances the top, um, top lid with the bottom lash line. So now doing my wing liner, as always, I'm going to take my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. You can completely skip the wing liner, but I just think this is what brings the whole eye together. Um, I do have a full tutorial of how to do the wing liner, so if you guys want, you guys can click on the screen or down below in the link down in the description box. But after that, you just apply mascara and your lashes and you're all done. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And well, with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah.